Hello everybody, I want to talk about drive and determination. A driven and determined person is someone who's consumed by what they do. They're often the first at work and the last to leave. During their work day, they willingly assume any responsibility and display a can-do, will-do attitude in all they do. They're driven to achieve the ambitions that they've set and at the right time and for the right reason. And there's no limit to their drive and determination to reach their destination. One's drive and determinations are not limited to their professional pursuits, though. My son, Gunner, has the determination to drive the world's sleekest and fastest car, while my daughter, Victoria, seems driven to visit every Cartier and Louis Vuitton store in existence. Both are determined to visit every grand amusement park in the U.S., embarking on the eternal quest to ride the tallest and fastest roller coaster ever built. They've already been to seven of the ten best amusement parks in the United States. Thankfully, they're as driven to achieve educational excellence as well, and they seem determined to use both their educational and personal experiences as stepping stones to a life full of fun, adventure, and enviable accomplishments. Drive is an attribute common to us all. What actually drives each person, though, is not. Some are driven by food, others by money, others by vengeance, and some by hate. I believe most are driven by some combination of good and evil, love and hate, positivity and negativity, obstruction and contribution, admiration and envy, and confidence and insecurity. Certainly, organizations seek employees driven by positivity, with an ability to make a major contribution toward the organization's objectives. For those in management, the standards and expectations are much higher. Organizations seek someone not only driven by positivity, and with the ability to contribute, but also with the knowledge and skills. These attributes, along with the energy to achieve and sustain them, are the hallmarks of good people. At times, one drives may rise unexpectedly, altering the very path of their journey. Some years ago, my college roommate and fellow fraternity brother, Keith Williams, owned a prosperous mortgage brokerage company. But then he woke up one day and had sharp pains down his arms and into his chest. He mentioned the pains to his wife and said he should go to the doctor. No, she said, we're going to the hospital. It's a fateful decision. As minutes later, he was in the hospital emergency room where his heart promptly stopped. The doctors were able to restart his heart, but then 15 minutes later, his heart stopped again. Within an hour, Keith went into surgery where he was outfitted with the pacemaker that has since saved his life. At the time, Keith was at the pinnacle of his financial success. Also, personal happiness and physical health. He never had a history of heart trouble, yet in a matter of minutes, his health crashed and his life clung perilously in the balance. He was unbelievably fortunate to have survived, and after that experience he took the opportunity to reflect upon his past, to reassess his presence and to ponder his future. Though he enjoyed the mortgage brokerage business, and it provided a good living, it was more a job than a calling. His true passion was bike riding. What did he do? He created a biking company, still in existence today and thriving. It has become the passion of his life. It is what he could do if he never had to work again. In this case, it's actually a job. And it provides rewardingly well for him and his family and for those that works for him. So out of tragedy came great success and great achievement. Who knew? Though, when he started his businesses, there were challenges. Keith was a driven and determined person. He wanted to make William Cycling an unqualified success, a vehicle that would allow him to follow his passion and also to provide a good living for him and his three sons. He's prospered beyond his expectations, and today William Cycling conducts business throughout the world. There's nothing more gratifying than seeing a friend, a truly good person, take a chance of doing something great and then succeeding. In business, too, managers have a variety of duties to perform and an assortment of expectations to attain. The good managers are those who don't just meet the expectations but exceed them and even create new expectations that propel a company to towering heights. They're driven and determined to succeed, and this fact separates the common, average manager from the uncommon, good manager. Become this type of person, and your fate is secure. I wish you all the best. Take care.